Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. Today I'm here with Joey. Joey and his dad drove down from Northern California to shoot with us today. So we're about to dig into one that I've been really looking forward to. So you guys have had this one for a while, right? Yeah, we've had it for about 10 or 12 years. Dominator Street Rods did most of the build, all the form, a lot of the function, and then in recent times, we went from the 512 to the Hellcat motor. Which, let's pop the hood, because I'm really let's excited to see this. Oh, wow. <laughs> God, what a killer engine bay. This is so cool. And you could see everything. You can even see the rack and pinion. You know, it goes through the header. There's so much going on. It just, it fits like a glove. It's such a big motor. It is. You know? Yeah, they're, they're not small engines, that's for sure. So we put the Hellcat in. It was awesome. Had it for a year, went to a few shows, and then we got an opportunity to work with Magnuson, throw this blower on, be at their booth for SEMA in 2017. We did a meth injection recently. We've got bigger injectors, 1,000 mm -hmm. cc's. We've got two fuel pumps, Phantom fuel pumps. Based on how we have it configured, we're yeah. probably around 950 to 1,000 to the crank. Yeah. yeah at yeah. least, I'd say. Yeah. But awesome. it runs solid and we drive it, so. I love that too, by the way, because it looks like a total show car, but I love that you guys actually do drive the car. It's oh, totally. Really we amazing. take it out at least every Sunday. What, what transmission are you running with It's this? got the Tremec TKO 600, uh -huh. and then it's got an extreme rebuild or upgrade by American Powertrain because originally it was it's only built to hold power. about 600 pounds of torque. We did American powertrain upgrade. It's set to handle about 900 pounds of torque, which is plenty for us. Yeah. Our torque's still below that. This car's got at least 4,000 hours probably into it. One thing that really stands out to me is this whole front grill. Was the second light? Totally no, custom, we, to we totally did that. I, yeah, I thought so, because this is a single light car, right? Yeah, it's a single light car. We did a uh -huh. full custom grill, mesh, dual headlights, and then dapper lighting set us up with the halos. But that grill is really sexy on here. Right? And then same with this spoiler. Is that, a, is that another custom made piece? Another from... custom thing. We were like, how do we get the car to be lower to the ground? Yeah. So without lowering it, you know, suspension wise, we just built it to the ground. We did a front spoiler here. Sure. It's got the rocker panels on the side. Beautiful, beautiful. What are the wheels you got going here? So we got Hot Rods by Boyd, Boyd Coddington. Oh, okay. I don't know, you've probably heard of the name. Yeah, of course. Been around sure. for a while, obviously. Sure. Everyone's got the HREs or the- Forge lines. The forge lines, of course. Uh -huh. yeah. We did the Hot Rods by Boyd. We had them custom make these. Yeah. We've got 18s in the front, 20s in the back. 315s in the back. Oh, nice. Yeah. Awesome. And I think we've got 245s in the front. Dominator did the three inch all the way through. Okay. I it idles and it's, it's got a probably. good throatiness to it, stainless. And then when you get on it, it just opens it open, up. Yeah, it totally I, opens I, up. Yeah. I like how they cut the valance too to tuck the exhaust up, your, your exhaust exits up there. And you can even see underneath how the exhaust just, it weaves through all that, that four link in the back. And we've got a compartment here. This is where we'll, we'll call it the meth lab. This is where we got the water meth in there. <laughs> I love it, man. We just had all this stuff kind of done recently. We had the interior redone by finish line probably just six months ago. Okay. One of my favorite parts always, because it's where you spend your time, is in the interior. In the cage, it's, it's legit. It's NASCAR approved. Really? I forgot what that acronym is, but it's all approved. It's the four link. That was something from the start. Like I said, it was a pretzel, you know, being a convertible. And when we yeah. put all the power, we needed something to really hold it together. It looks reminiscent of like a California special. Oh, that's exactly what, that's, that was what we had in mind. That Mustang, like sleek, wrapped totally. in leather type Cause look. Because you're dropping the top and so you got that. Because that, without that it, it almost, wide hoop. You, it looks like a swing set almost. Uh -huh. You know, when you don't wrap it and uh -huh. add some character to it. So that's totally what we agree. did. Recaro seats, they totally just reupholstered them. It's got a Italian leather and then it's got Alcantara down the center. Wow, and that's just slick working the Alcantara into the, the insert there. Are these custom gauges? Yeah, they're custom. Dude, I love this wheel too, God. Flaming River, steering column and wheel. And you gotta love, I mean, <laughs> I do. I love that you guys went manual on this car, you know? And it's a five speed too. Do you know what the gearing in the rear end is? Yeah, I think it's a 373. Yeah, sure. And from low speeds, it still goes, but it's on the freeway from like a 50, 60, 70 mile an hour hit. Yeah. It just wants to go. Dude, 
dude, you guys really, really exceptional car, man. And you guys call it the Hell Dart, right? It's catchy, you know? I love it. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do, man. We are going to go for a drive, but uh, Joey's going to step out. His dad, Don's going to step in. So guess what time it is, boys? We're going to go for a drive. All right, you guys, so this is Don. Don is uh, Joey's dad. Oh, people are gonna go nuts for this car. Man, you could you could tell this car could handle. I mean, I oh, can feel, oh, I can oh, feel yeah, the, yeah, it could handle great. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. such a fan of manual brakes. Definitely a violent, mean, badass, beautiful, beautiful Dodge Dart. Here's a couple more Mopars for you as we say goodbye and thanks for hanging and watching what we do. We'll see you in the next one, you guys. Later.